Hey Storm Nation fans, Alex Hoskins here, Director of Research and Development here at Storm, and today we have another video taking a deeper look at a brand new product in our line, and that is the Rode. The Rode features some brand new technology that we're going to look at today, and it's the latest release in the Storm Thunder line. First, we're going to look at the individual components that make up the road and how it makes it unique. Starting on the outside, we have the road being surrounded by the REX hybrid reactive cover stock. Now, this is not the first time that REX has made a debut in the Thunderline. It was originally on the night road, but this is the hybrid version. So you're going to see a little bit stronger overall shape out of it with some of the solid and the pearl actually mixed together. We strip that down one layer and the road is the first ball in the road series of bowling balls to feature the all new AI core technology. And this is a big change for these particular bowling balls because as you're gonna see later in this video, the original High Road, High Road Pearl, all those balls that have been in the line for a significant amount of time were actually weight block balls that did not have cores. So this is a big change for this new technology in the road here. And then lastly, you'll be familiar with this weight block, but the road features the inverted FE2 AI core, which creates some unique characteristics, and that's what we're going to look at here. This inverted FE2 AI core, there's a lot going on here when you look at the CAD image. And what's really unique about this is it has a quadruple density design. And when I say quadruple density, I mean there's four different inner part densities which really make it unique for us to be able to create good dynamics across all three weights. Those four different density pieces are the actual AI core itself, the FE2 ball, the weight block shape itself, and then the slug at the bottom as well. So you have a lot of different densities that you can manipulate in here to really get those RGs and diffs right where we want them to be. We already kind of hit on the high density slug, which is pretty standard on a lot of the shapes on the bottom, just to increase total differential, create more torque and shape off the end of the pattern. But in addition, we also have a higher density FE2 ball on this particular weight block and core as well. And that gives us a density gap, a much bigger gap than what we would normally be able to do through shape alone. We can create some differences through shape, but the density of the shape is the exact same throughout top to bottom. This gives us a very high density up towards the top and a high density towards the bottom, which creates a different kind of torque effect. And it actually raises the RG up a little bit higher than what we traditionally see, which makes the ball a lot cleaner through the front of the lane and really want to change direction if there's plenty of friction down lane. Some internal design differences between the road and the original high road. We know the high road's been out for over 15 years now, what differences are we gonna see between this new AI core technology with the FE2 and the original FE2 weight block itself? Well, what you're gonna notice, you should be pretty familiar with the inverted FE2 technology as it's been in the high road for multiple years now. You still have those two high density parts in the weight block shape, but you're gonna notice that there's no core which allows for extremely high RG values and that gets back to the saying, the lane always comes to a high road. There's plenty of friction being developed as more and more balls go down the lane. So the lane is always coming to that higher RG ball that you need to be a little bit cleaner and go a little bit further down lane before changing direction. But when we add this AI core technology to that FE2 technology, now we're able to manipulate these densities a little more. Before we only had a weight block and a shell that we could change any densities of. So that kind of locked us into certain RG and differential values across the different weights. With AI core technology, we're able to create similar dynamics across all three weights because now we can manipulate those densities further than we could before. And if you've seen any of our testing videos with the AI core technology, you'll know that we have an increased pin carry percentage of over 3% when adding AI core technology to these bowling balls. Very cool stuff there that allows that ball to hit the pins a little bit harder and transfer a bit more energy as it's going through the pins. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the dynamics comparison between the inverted FE2 technology and the AI core inverted FE2 technology. So you'll see 16, 15, and 14 pounds here. 
And what you're gonna notice is the RG values change a lot between those three weights. And that's because this is only a weight block ball. There's no core in that original high road. So we only have the density of the shell and the total weight of that weight block. So if you can imagine, as we go up in weight, we need the inner part to be heavier, which lowers the RG. That's why you see such different RG values out of the 16 compared to the 14. But when we actually add the inverted FE2 into that AI core technology, you see those RG and diff numbers are exactly the same across all three weights. And it's because we have more components that we're able to actually manipulate now to create a ball at 16 pounds or at 14 pounds, and we can distribute the mass a different way in there to make sure that those RG values are closer. So that's a big thing with AI core technology that really helps us out is we're able to manipulate those densities that make those uh, dynamics more consistent across three different weights. So wrapping it up, a couple final things I want you to remember about the road. Visit your local Storm VIP Pro Shop. The release date is April 19th. And if this video didn't answer all your technical questions that you have about this bowling ball, feel free to reach out to us at tech at stormbowling.com or by the phone at 435-723-0403. We always have a full-time technical team that'll help assist you with any questions you have about any of our products. And always remember, bowl up the storm. Oh, 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 oh,